All right, precious brothers and sisters, very important video this May the 7th, 2013, with end time Bible prophecy happening at an alarming rate and the rapture of the church that is quickly upon us. One thing that is not being taught in the churches today, and that is repentance, forgiveness, and very important, deliverance. And we are going to be delivered today. We are going to be delivered from any and all the generational curses that may have come upon us. Now I'll be reading from my book of prayers today and we're going to find out just what is a generational curse and then we are going to say a very special prayer today and be delivered. Time is too short. The clock is ticking. It is almost the midnight hour. Let's be set free today. What is a generational curse? The Word of God says that a curse without a cause cannot settle on a righteous person. Sin opens the door primarily disobedience for a curse to settle onto a person. Generational curses are curses in which a parent or ancestral parent um, that we are in direct lineage of has sinned and opened a door for it to be passed on from one generation to the next. Usually there is some type of display or manifestation in the natural realm indicating what the curse is through a person's behavior. No matter how pronounced the manifestation is, it needs to be dealt with through repentance. A curse without a cause cannot settle on a righteous person or a person free of sin. Curses are clearly spoken of in the Bible, and just because the Word tells us Yeshua became a curse on a tree for us does not mean we can still get a curse actively working in our lives. We either get curses through our sin or when we get into sin. A curse spoken of by others gets attached to us after we sin actively affecting us. We need to repent immediately. I can't stress that enough. We need to repent immediately when we sin. And that's not being taught today in the churches. You need to repent. Yes, you are saved by grace, but you need to repent. There is no free reign to sin. But you are covered. And that is what's being taught today as well. But for all sins you may commit in the future, you're covered by the blood. So you just don't repent. You just go about uh, sinning. Repent. Repent. Because believe me, somewhere down the line, a generational curse more than likely has been attached to you. Okay. Let me continue on. These things really do affect our thoughts and the thought process, process of our mind more than we tend to realize. With generational curses, we also repent for our own sins and also the sins of our ancestors. When's the last time you repented for any sins your ancestors may have committed? No matter the sin and no matter the type of curse, we need to ask Yeshua to take it and break it from us then we are appropriating and applying what Yeshua did for us by going to the cross and becoming a curse for all of us. I want you to bow your heads, close your eyes, and bow your hearts, and I want you to pray this prayer with me. Heavenly Father, Yahweh, I come to you now in the name of my Messiah and my Redeemer, Yeshua HaMashiach. Holy Spirit, I ask you to quicken me and lead me in this prayer. Messiah Yeshua, I believe that on the cross you took upon yourself every curse that could and would ever come against me. Messiah Yeshua, I ask you to destroy every curse that is on me at this time on my children, my grandchildren, according to your will. 
Yeshua, I ask you to break and destroy any curses, ungodly soul ties, unholy alliances, or any unrighteous agreements that I have entered into. Destroy any side effects, effects, uh, residual effects, influences, or stings of any curses that have been put on me, placed on me, declared over me, decreed over me, anyone that I have prayed for today, including our children, our grandchildren, our marriages, our homes, our cars, our trucks, our offices, our properties, our buildings, our businesses, our ministries, and our finances. I ask you to do this in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach of Nazareth according to John chapter 14 verse 14. I ask you to destroy any witchcraft prayers, charismatic witchcraft prayers, psychic prayers, ungodly soulish prayers, side effects, effects, residual effects, influences, or stings of any witchcraft prayers, or charismatic witchcraft prayers, or psychic prayers, ungodly soulish prayers about me, over, or about anyone that I have prayed for today, including our children, our grandchildren, our marriages, our homes, our cars, our trucks, our offices, our properties, our buildings, our businesses, our ministries, our finances, our pets. I ask you to destroy them now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, according to John 14. Verse 14, I ask you to destroy any false prophecies that have been prophesied over me or about me or anyone that I have prayed for today, including our children, our grandchildren, our marriages, our homes, our cars, our trucks, our offices, our properties, our buildings, our businesses our ministries, our finances, our pets. I ask you to destroy them now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth according to John 14, verse 14. Lord Jesus, I ask you to destroy any hexes, vexes, witchcraft, spells, voodoo, voodoo spells, satanic spells, incantations, chains, fetters, snares, traps, effects, side effects, or residual effects, darts, arrows, stings, claws, spears, darkness, evil imprints, false memories, wrong mindsets, trauma, shock, any unrighteous instruments of the enemy that have attempted to penetrate me. Any lies of the enemy, false memories, evil imprints, impressions, wrong thoughts and mindsets that have been spoken into me, over me, anyone that I have prayed for, including our children, our grandchildren, our marriages, our homes, our cars, our trucks, our offices, our properties and buildings, our businesses, our ministries, our finances. I ask you to destroy them now in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach of Nazareth according to John chapter 14 verse 14. Yeshua I ask you to destroy any words, declarations, decrees, effects, side effects, stings and influences that have been spoken into me or over me or into anyone over anyone that I have prayed for today by ourselves or others that do not conform to your will or your destiny for our lives or the way you want us to believe and think and do 
I apply the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, his blood covenant, Psalms 91, and your healing, healing virtue over me, onto me, my spirit, mind, will, desires, emotions, ego, imaginations, anyone I pray for this day. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I ask you, Lord Jesus, to destroy any assignment or plans that Satan or our spiritual enemies or physical enemies have against me, anyone that I have prayed for, against our children, our grandchildren, our marriages, our homes, our finances, our cars, our trucks, our offices, our properties, our buildings and businesses, our ministries. I ask you to destroy them now in the name of Jesus of Nazareth according to John chapter 14 verse 14. To God be the glory. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth I ask you Lord Jesus to pull down and cast aside every demonic stronghold that is in my mind or that are in the minds of anyone that I have prayed for. I ask you to pull down every vain imagination in me and in everything that I pray for today and cast them aside in the name of the Messiah, Yeshua Hamashik. Messiah, Yeshua, I ask you to pull down every high thought in me and in everyone that I have prayed for this day that exalts itself against the knowledge of the living God, Yahweh, and cast them aside in the name of the Messiah, Yeshua, Hamashiach, of Nazareth, and to bring every thought captive in each of us to the obedience of the Messiah. According to 2 Corinthians chapter 10, Verse 3 and 6, Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach, I ask you to pull down, cast aside and destroy any demonic strongholds that are over in me, or over, or in anyone that I have prayed for this day, over our homes, our cars, our trucks, offices, property, buildings, businesses, ministries, marriages, and finances. I ask you to destroy them now, according to John 14, 14, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, to God be the glory, amen. In the name of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I command my mind, desires, will, emotions, ego, imaginations, and thoughts to come now to the obedience of Christ in me. Lord Jesus, I ask you to destroy and remove all vain imagination, demonic strongholds, and any deception that is in my thoughts and mind, and cast them aside in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach. I ask you to wash my mind clean with the precious blood of the Lamb, Yeshua Hamashiach, Jesus the Christ of Nazareth, and enable me to stay in your presence all day long according to John 14 14 to God Yahweh be all the glory Amen Lord Yeshua your word says that your anointing destroys all yokes of bondage Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27 so I ask you now to cause your anointings to break and destroy any yokes of bondage along with all their works, roots, roots, tentacles, and links that are in my life, the lives of anyone that I have prayed for today, according to John 14, 14. In the name of the Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach, the Christ, to God be the glory. Amen. God bless you. This is from my book of prayers.
when you give a gift to the ministry, TrumpetOfGodMinistries.com, if you would like the information where you can get your own free copy, I will be happy to send that to you. God bless you. Be set free. Repent. Repent. Forgive. You have been delivered. God bless you.